Tech news that Jerome Ortega finds interesting. This episode was brought to you by nobody, because I ain't no sellout. Unless you're Porsche or Tesla or Portillo's, I gotta use some hot dogs. talk today about the Moto G being discontinued by Lenovo. The rumor was instead of refreshing the Moto G, the company planned to merge the handset with its existing Lenovo lineup. Thankfully, Motorola later stepped in and said they won't be killing off the G. Quote, although we are simplifying the combined Motorola and Lenovo portfolio, we have no plans to retire the Moto G, our most successful smartphone. Let's get it straight, Lenovo Rola. Moto Novo. I have about five people that are close to me that I've recommended the Moto G to and they swear by it. There's also word that all Moto by Lenovo phones will have at least five inch displays and fingerprint readers. You're gonna put a fingerprint reader on a Moto G? On a Moto E? I'll believe it when I see it. The Nexus 5X hit a permanent price drop today at 349 for 16 gigs, which was originally 379 and 399 for its 32 gig variant, which was originally 429 This is the exact price the Nexus 5 was when it debuted in 2013. If you ask me, I think this is the price the 5X should have been when it initially debuted. Either way, a win for the consumer. Samsung's next flagship, which I'm guessing is going to be called the Galaxy S7, was spotted on Antutu's benchmark page today. Fitted with a Snapdragon 820 processor, an Adreno 530 GPU, a 12.1 megapixel uh, rear shooter, that's fancy talk for camera, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, and a 5.1 inch 1440p display. These aren't really surprising specs, are they? Uh, I mean, that's pretty par for the course. Finally, drone. This is what I wanted to talk about on the last episode of Tech News, but my mic and my video editing software just went kaput. But I wanted to talk about this drone called Lily. It's this drone that, well, follows you and videotapes you. The drone has a camera on it, a 1080p camera. How it works is... How well does it work? You keep a tracking device on your wrist, you throw the drone up in the air, and it follows you for up to 20 minutes and I think as fast as 25 miles an hour. I really wanted to post a video of it in action, but I don't really know the full legalities of posting other people's videos, even if they're just marketing commercial videos. But I'll leave a link in the description. The company already has 60,000 of these pre-ordered. You can pre-order one on Lily's website for $7.99. It's expected to ship in the summer of 2016. If you don't pre-order one, it goes up to $9.99. You know, like Rice Krispie Treats, but not the ones at the store, the homemade ones. Yeah.